What's going on guys? I'm Avery and you're watching the Crypto News Network. Today we have an interesting development out of Amazon Web Services, the giant e-commerce cloud computing company, and they introduced AWS blockchain templates for Ethereum and Hyperledger Fabric. In a blog post they said, these templates will let you launch an Ethereum network or Hyperledger Fabric network in a matter of minutes and with just a few clicks. The templates create and configure all of the AWS resources needed to get you going in a robust and scalable fashion. But before everyone starts screaming moon, it's important that we understand a few things about AWS. In a comment on Reddit, user DGHAA cleared the air with some facts surrounding the announcement saying, for those that don't deal with AWS cloud every day, let's make a few things clear. Amazon did not launch any sort of product, platform, or service from blockchain. This is actually good news and cool of Amazon to do, but don't let shills or other people try to claim that it represents a new product from Amazon or even an endorsement of any particular blockchain tech. Not a single service this blog post covers is in any way, shape, or form a new AWS product, service, or platform. It's literally a cloud formation template plus pre-configured Docker images for launching a full blockchain stack on your Amazon account leveraging the new managed ECS container service. None of that is new except for the template and the Docker images themselves. Amazon did write a blog post where they gave away free documentation, cloud formation templates, and guidance on how to more easily launch the stuff inside your own account using your own VPC and payment method. This is solidly in line with what AWS always does. They give away free and useful stuff that encourages clients to consume more AWS services and thus generate more revenue for AWS. All they've done is made it easier for people to launch blockchain networks on their own, which is solidly in line with what AWS does every day all the time. Pretty much what AWS has enabled is allowing clients to be able to interact with Ethereum without having to run an entire node themselves, being able to leverage the security and benefits of running that node on a cloud service like AWS. Another Reddit user commented, I'm a developer. To interact with the blockchain in my dApp, I need to choose a way to do that. I could use Infura, but it has limitations. I could use Etherscan or something similar, but it could go down and I have no control over their services. With AWS, I can spin up and monitor my own Ethereum node for development, testing, or production and have control over the resources allocated to it, who is allowed to connect, and what kind of requests it will allow. This is a big step in the right direction and a much needed service for dApp developers. So long story short, the announcement from AWS is cool, but let's not let the community spin out of control with thinking that Amazon just hopped on the ETH Hyperloop to Alpha Centauri. That being said, this is definitely an interesting development and is exciting to see AWS acknowledging blockchain. If you like this story or think that I might have missed something, please throw a comment under this video. For links to the story, check out the description below. Also, don't forget to toss us a like and subscribe. See you again next time.